Mr. Speaker, as someone who went to grade and high school in the 1970s, I learned about countries, particularly the Soviet Union and its Eastern European satellites, that severely limited the right of their people to travel. In effect, they were prisoners in their own country. Indeed, in post-war Germany, the communists even built a wall through Berlin. They did so not to keep people from West Berlin from traveling to East Berlin. They did it to prevent the captives of East Berlin from running to freedom in the West. There's a tragic story unfolding in Britain this week of a new virtual Berlin Wall that British and European authorities have erected around little, elf, little two-year-old Elfie Evans, who lives in Britain. They have eliminated this child's right to travel, and they are holding him prisoner. Elfie is severely handicapped. British officials have made the decision over the objection of Elfie's parents that Elfie would be better off dead. As such, they are prohibiting Elfie's parents from taking him to Bambino Gesù Hospital in Rome, which has offered to care for the boy. Elfie is not suffering, but British officials appear to be projecting their own subjective views on Elfie's quality of life and are deeming his life not worthy of living. Among my most heart warming experiences in my work in my district are visits to residences of the severely handicapped. I have visited with individuals who will never walk and who will never communicate verbally, verbally. But they can and do love, and they are loved. For some folks in life, their calling is that simple, to love and be loved. And their presence makes us better persons. Perhaps that's Elfie's calling, to love and be loved. Maybe those in Britain responsible for Elfie's fate should consider that. To be clear, Elfie's right to life does not come from Parliament. It doesn't come from the Crown. It doesn't come from any British court. It comes from God. Mr. Speaker, the British authorities should back down they should allow Elfie's parents to take him to Bambino Gesù Hospital in Rome. The British authorities should tear down the virtual wall they have put up around him and let him be free so he can continue to love and be loved.